Hi everyone. I was thinking, let's just do a different video than you, than you guys are used to. Um, I am going to film several videos. I already filmed one, but that was a beauty or a skincare video. So I was able to have all my makeup off and now I'm going to get ready to film and adding my daily makeup. So I thought, let's just make it a get ready with me chit chat kind of thing. Give you guys an update on my life, what I've been doing, what I've not been doing, etc. So, um, let's go so first off my skin because i use a quite um, harsh product when it comes to uh, skincare or mask i'm going to re-moisture my skin this isn't my daily product to use but if i feel like my skin is really dry then i like the bobby brown extra nourishing milk um, also i'm featuring some items of bobby brown in between um, because I partnered up with them and they have quite cool products I'm only mentioning the products that I really like uh, and that I support so no worries so I'm applying that to the skin I feel like everybody on like Instagram loves to do it like this um, the only thing is sometimes if you dro use drops of this one it's too much so please a little goes a long way okay for the lips I'm using a product that actually isn't meant for the lips it's the Wellida skin food right here so it will appear white at first but afterwards it will sink in and you get the softest lips and for my lashes I'm gonna use a combination my first layer will be the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara and this has just a very basic wand and I like this for my first layer of mascara. So what have I been up to? Well, um, am I going to say this? Yeah, let's just say it. I am quitting my job. Uh, I only have to work for one month. Uh, and I'm working part-time from now on or at least the last month I'm gonna work part-time and I'm gonna work for myself um, it's very scary and I don't know if it's gonna work but I'm gonna give it a try and see how it goes it's very exciting but also very scary at the same time because you know now you're really, really responsible for the income that comes in. And if you don't put in enough work, you won't have money to pay the rent. So in my case, my mortgage, but that's kind of a reality check, but I'm very excited actually. Um, for my next layer, let's just like continue. It's my absolute favorite mascara. It's from L'Oreal. Uh, and it is the paradise ecstatic but the only thing is this can like get a little bit clumpy so that's why i always use a different mascara as a base and then add this one another thing is that i have been having a cough for over a month now it's almost gone but my voice is not like the best nor it's kind of like I'm in pure breathing or something um, and it's just due to the cough and the effect that it had on my voice but it's almost gone a little bit on the bottom and I've been having my period right now so that's why my skin is super bad which is very unfortunate because my skin has been good for such a long time but it's just the hormones right now and I'm already planning new uh, appointments with Image Skincare, but the sun needs to go away over here because the treatments that I do, they don't, you know, they rec they recommend you not to be in like a sunny area, um, especially with my problem, which is hyperpigmentation, which actually, you know, tends to occur when the sun is there because it creates pigment. Um, so I'm also. I'm also pretty excited about that okay up next is I let this dry I always smudge and F up but I take a q-tip and remove that and while that is drying um, I'm gonna do the brows the brows I do how I always do them 
using the Inglot, how is it called? Inglot brown liner gel. It's just a pomade and it's in color 20. Just this one. First brushing my brows. In other news, uh, I've been doing quite some cool campaigns. Um, one of them, which is going to appear in week 23. Um, and it is in co collaboration with L'Oreal. That's the only thing that I'm allowed to say, um, which is very exciting. It's L'Oreal Holland. So it's for my Dutchies. You won't see it internationally. So it's in my native language, which is Dutch. Um, and for some people that don't know, um, I'm one of their, yeah, um, how would I say it, brand ambassadors. It's not called that way over here, but um, yeah, we have like a real long-term collaboration and that really was a milestone for me because I see L'Oreal as um, at least the biggest company in my country let alone how it is in the world um, and it's just fun to see that even though that I talk English and do everything in English when it comes to my content that they see something in me and that they really wanted to incorporate that in the Dutch scene so that's pretty cool and also working with people I'm not that big of an influencer if you know what I mean if you see the amount of followers that I have it's not that like that you're like impressed um, but I think that yeah one way or another they're seeing something that makes them want to um, create content with me and I just feel very blessed that I have the possibility to do that and to learn from them so I'm also having a meeting next week on Thursday I think at the head office and I think I'm gonna vlog so check out the vlog in about, I think, two weeks to see how that went. Oh, and the, sorry, the pencil that I'm using is also an ink pencil and it is in 31T, just a brow pencil. Um, so I'm just very excited in general. Also, um, you're just, you know, when it comes to beauty brands or these hair brands. I also have a good pool of brands that I really love that love my content or what I create or they're happy enough to continuously work with me. So with, that also allows me to try this out, you know, the whole influencer thing. And do I know which direction I want to go to? Yeah. Oh, my back. Sorry. Um, I don't think that I'm there yet. I'm really trying to figure out which pad I need to take to get there. Um, but I do know it, and, but I just don't feel like right now at this moment with my full-time job. For the people that don't know, I'm an education and recruitment manager, um, which is quite, I wouldn't say like super, well, it can be. It's just a lot of work that you need to put into, thought that you need to put into. Um, and I felt like that was draining my creativity when it comes to this platform. Wait, my battery is almost dead. I'm gonna change it. Wait, wait, wait. And we are back. Sorry, my battery died. Um, where was I? I think I was talking about work and stuff. Yeah, I just felt that work was kind of um, not allowing me to be creative with, you know, this is also the reason that I stopped YouTube and only focused on Instagram because it was in a way quicker, or at least that's how I felt it was. And now, you know, doing it, I feel like, no, it's totally not. But that was the idea that I got out of it. Um, and just to even think about the path that I want to do or want to cross and how I want to achieve the goals that I have in mind. Just was no 
space for that. So I feel like this is the best way to do it and to gradually do it by, you know, from now on for upcoming month working two and a half days a week and the other days I'm just planning in meetings with brands I'm, um, <clears throat> I'm also having a brainstorm session with a really good friend of mine that um, manages influencers but in a different branch but in a different niche but I think that it'd be very helpful to um, and I'm already doing it with him call, calling him like twice a week when does school together so that's you know pretty cool to see that you both ended up kind of in the same scene um up next brow gel and um normally i really like the l'oreal one but i've really been digging this one from bobby brown is a waterproof brow shaper and it's also super tiny and that is what i like about it super tiny loving the brush the brush is a little bit more mascara like i would say and that's why it kind of creates a more bushy look in my opinion which is what i love and this one is translucent as well which is also what i love and i was brushing it through so yeah that's what i've been up to lately um what else i'm not using any foundation anymore i only do it with yeah, when it comes to special occasions or something. I know it sounds super weird, but um, I think it's also due to the treatments that I got at Image Skincare, which really helped improve my skin and my hyperpigmentation. But I think also that like letting my skin breathe is the best medicine to any skin disorder or um, something that is going on with your skin. And with this weather, it's so hot over here. <coughs> It's so hot over here that you don't even want to wear mascara because it will melt off anyway. So no mascara, no concealer. Um, I'm still looking for a good BB cream or something like that. So if you have anything in mind, please let me know. Uh, but when it comes to daily makeup, I just don't use it anymore. So um, we're right away going on to the um, cheeks. And I do use some products or and I do have some products for that. One of them is um, the Bobbi Brown uh, Brightening Brick in Coral. I just love the Bobbi Brown packaging. It looks like this. It has multiple um, colors um, and I just mix it. It doesn't have like super, super pigment, um, but that's what I actually love about it because I like it to keep it as natural as possible, just, but just to have a little bit of color pay off on the cheeks just a little bit not too much and this one especially appears when the light hits it then you really see how good it looks it just gives you a natural cheek like element so I won't look too flat So that's a fun fact, like I think 80% of the pictures that I'm posting right now is without any foundation on or concealer on. Um, it's just my skin being so much better and I think that the fun part of it all is that I don't even have to add it that much. Fun fact. Then highlighter. I used two products for highlighter. This is actually one that I received and it's from MUA. It's the Bronze Shimmer. Uh, for lighter skin tones this will be kind of more of a bronzing color but this for me is like a highlighter i use my finger and then i tap it onto the areas that i like so i think that if i can describe my makeup it's all about being like looking healthy and glowy so natural but a little bit extra like that so applying it here and applying it here and it's a creamy consistency so you know when warmth of your finger is added to it it blends like a dream it blends so well and sometimes I add a little bit towards the corner of my brows 
what's left on my fingers and the same here what's left on my fingers and then I'm gonna intensify the ones on my cheek with my all-time favorite the uh, Inglot um, sparkling dust and this is a color I think three yeah it's color three with a fluffy brush which I forgot let me you know what I don't I don't even want to go take it I'm just gonna use my finger for it and only adding it on this area to give it a little bit more of an intense pop like that like that I'm wondering like I still have so many followers but I'm not sure if you even get notifications or anything if I post something and I don't know what you would like to see I'm trying to do vlogs but I also want to create more content more like chill laid back and um, talking about different subjects so this is one of them um, so yeah just let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see lips um, for the lips, I have to say that I've been like Bobby Brown sent me this one. I was like too light until I tried it. First off, the first thing that I noticed was the scent. It has a minty scent, but in a soft way. It it is it smells amazing. This is their lip gloss, and it is in buff. The color buff it smells amazing, and it just gives you. Such an amazing natural, well natural, I guess with such a good shiny finish and it has a hint of, of pink. It isn't minty enough to plump your lips, I would say. Not that I need that, but um, I just like it. It just gives you a natural finish. And I'm also noticing that I'm kind of digging the glossy lips kind of thing. Um, and to finish off, I'm gonna use the um, MAC Prep and Prime Spray. This one is scented and it is in the coconut scent, which is amazeballs. Finishing that off. Whew. And because I'm extra, I'm using this hand fan. This one. Um, if you wanna get one of these, it's actually from a really good friend of mine who designed these. So I will link her right here or tag her something here. Go check her out. And this people is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you like it. Comment down below what the next video is that you would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.